Hello everybody and welcome to the channel Crossing the Spiritual Streams. My name is Tandra and today we're going to do a Tarot Pick a Pile card reading with career messages from Spirit. I've been thinking a lot about career lately and, and what's going on and I just felt kind of compelled to do another career type of reading. These messages could be on anything about your career. They could be on your current career, they could be on a future career, they could be on what would be best careers for you anything like that it just whatever will come through i always find it best uh whatever spirit wants to kind of get out to us whatever uh, they want us to hear at the moment what, how they want to guide us so that's the way this reading's going to go you know each pile here has a card on top that i did automatic writing for so there's a message in each one of these um, cards per pile uh, this one's pile one with the green card. This one's pile two with the orange card and this one's pile three with the yellow card So we will have those messages. We do have our tarot cards. We're going to look at we're also going to look at Charms a little later and our Oracle spheres So you can be thinking of a yes or no type of question that you'd like to get an answer Especially about your career it might be a really good time to get a certain answer uh, For that so we're going to do that a little later on as well uh, I would love to offer you all a chance to join the channel by subscribing. It is free to do so. And also, when you go to your reading and you like it, if you can give us a thumbs up and leave us comments. And if you can share the channel with your friends and family, all of that would be greatly appreciated. And I just wanted to say a quick shout out to all of you who have done all of those things for us. You're really helping the channel out a lot, and I appreciate all of you. Okay, we're going to give you some time to reflect on these piles and decide which uh, particular pile to go to for your reading. It is best to go with your gut instinct, whichever one is pulling you in the most. Uh, not so much by eye or color or anything like that, but just which one says, yeah, that's the pile I need to watch. This is a timeless reading, so whenever you run across this re uh, reading, there should be messages here for you. Uh, it is a general reading, however, so just take what resonates and leave whatever does not. Okay, so we're going to give you some time to reflect and then we'll see you at your reading. There are timestamps in the description that will lead you directly to your pile when you're ready. See you there. Hello Pile 1 and welcome to your reading. Those of you that chose the green card here, um, we're going to look at your uh, message, channel message that we did here a little bit ago with our automatic writing. I had been doing the beach scene and I just could not leave it totally behind so I brought part of the beach with us for a little while. <laughs> we're going to kind of still have that sunny spirit and all with us because I really appreciated that and so I wanted to kind of keep it. Um, we do have, I, I was compelled to pick actually two uh, career cards from the uh, career deck here as well as some other uh, tarot cards we're going to look at. Uh, we will be doing charms and oracle spheres so you can be thinking of your yes or no type of question that you can get an answer to for that. All right, let's go ahead and read our message first and see what came through. This was just automatic writing that I did and I've done this for a few readings and whatever I do I find... It's really kind of interesting what comes through because uh, I never have a clue beforehand uh, what, what we're going to say here. Um, I did not rewrite it, so my handwriting is really messy. Sorry about that. Um, okay, this says, your career is the main focus of your life. It is important to be doing what you love. It will bring you the most success and happiness. Okay, so for you guys in Pile 1, um, it's obvious that your career is really important to you. Whatever you do for a living, uh, no matter what it is, it's really important. It's a main focus of your life. It's what you spend a lot of time on. It's what you care about a lot. So it's really, really, really important that you do what you really love doing and not just anything to pay the bills. Okay, so that's just um, what Spirit wanted you guys to know right off the bat. Just something kind of important there. Now let's take a look at what else 
Spirit has to say about your career. All right, we've got the King of Wands. We've got the Wheel of Fortune. Cool. Oh, uh, we got the Justice card. Interesting. Okay. We got the Six of Cups. All right. I like that. The Nine of Swords. Wow, that's intriguing. We got the Death card. Okay. We have the Ten of Swords. Okay. We have the Knave of Pentacles, or the Page of Pentacles. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Then we have Healer. You have the spiritual gift of healing and the desire to share it with others. And like I said, I was compelled to pick two of these this time, so I don't know if that's because there was extra messages or different people are going to be watching or what. Light and love. Your purpose is to bring divine healing light and love to this world. That's interesting that these were both healing cards. Okay. Um, so what I'm getting right off the bat for some of you guys is... At first I was thinking that some of you guys might be in like a financial type of career um, or might be good at a financial type of career uh, or things like tax law, um, lawyering, um, uh, dealing out justice, ju you know, being a judge, um, something in those kinds of respects. I was kind of getting that feeling early on. And then I also had um, a feeling um, that some of you guys, um, with some of these other, the swords energy and stuff that came through and then the healer energy, is that some of you guys would be really, really, really good at psychology or psychiatry or counseling of some sort. Uh, and this doesn't have to be traditional counselors either. This could be spiritual counselors. This could be... Uh, things like Reiki healing, uh, things like tarot reading, other things like that. It doesn't have to be the things we think of as traditional healing. Uh, but I do see that as a possible career path for those of you who are not already doing something like that. Uh, if that is something that even has ever remotely interested you, either of those paths, by the way, because I kind of think of it, uh, you guys would be good at either. Um, because they're both helping, they're both, um, you know, being a lawyer can be very, very, very helpful for people that really need it, uh, in, in dealing out that. Also being a fair judge can be very, very important as well. Um, so, you know, sometimes we have bad connotations about lawyers and all in, in our society sometimes, but, uh, lawyers can be extraordinarily helpful depending on, uh, which type of law you went into and who you cho chose to help and things like that. Okay. So I got that message, uh, for some of you and believe it or not, for a few of you guys, I got the message of possibly dealing with, um, grief, people who've died. Uh, not so much ne necessarily dealing with the people who are dead, but b dealing with people who are dealing with people who've died recently, like the grief that they're having to deal with and that kind of thing. And I guess that kind of goes along with the psychological counseling and the other stuff, because I'm really getting a strong vibe for that. If you guys are not involved in this field and it even remotely resonates with you at all, I really feel like it's something you guys should pursue. Um, and maybe work on. Uh, if you are in this field, um, I think that's great. And I, I'm hoping that you really, really, really love it. Um, I feel like maybe you're going to do very well in this field. I think you're going to get um, presence and accolades from the people that you help. Um, I think you're going to get noticed. I think you're going... Um, I think it's very, very, very possible uh, for a lot of you guys to get highly recognized, be the top of your field um, if you go into either of these careers or if you're in either of these careers. 
Um, I think being able to share your inner love and light for human beings and be able to heal them um, or be able to help them in their time of crisis is something that um, would really, really, really work out super well for you guys. I just, it's a, it's a super incredibly strong feeling. Uh, I feel like for some of you guys, it's time for you to be changing your careers. Um, I feel like you are not in a fulfilling career right now. You're not doing what is best for you. Uh, I think the message earlier on that we got that you need to be doing something that you love. Um, if you are in doing anything at all that is just helping to pay the bills and that's all it's doing, you don't really want to be doing that. It's just kind of either you did it because your family kind of said it was a good career to go into or, um, you know, life just kind of took you that way for whatever reason. Uh, if you feel that way, I think now's the time that you need to start thinking about changing that. You need to start working towards a career that would make you more happy, that would um, fulfill you. But those are the two careers that are really standing out for me. Um, but especially psychological type of healing um, and helping people through grief, grief counseling. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have to be in the traditional ways. You can go in and study non-traditional forms of healing as well if that attracts you. Um, because I do feel like for a few of you that is the case. Um, and you're going to need to do some learning and research and be able to do whatever needs to do to, to get this out there and and work with uh, your clients and people but it may not take the eight ten years of study or whatever that maybe becoming a traditional psychologist or something else might require there are a few of you that i think um, body healing of some way shape or form uh, you know working with healing people's uh, bodies not just their souls uh, not just their psyche um, is possible uh, that could be a fulfilling career for you but I think for the vast majority of you I do think this has to deal with uh, healing their soul and he healing their, their psyche which are kind of connected together in my opinion uh, that's the strong feeling I'm getting from this reading uh, and I really feel like that's kind of the message that needs to be out there for you guys it's interesting how we have all the wolf um, energy as well because that kind of um, gives me that kind of almost shaman medicine man type feeling too uh for some of you guys uh we do have the wheel of fortune and other stuff that came up and so that's where i was getting the idea that maybe it's time for some of you guys to kind of change things up and, and move things around uh, a little bit here we do have the ace of pentacles which is a new start a new beginning um, and so I do feel like for some of you guys, this is a great time for a, a new beginning and a new start, um, or a changing of career or starting a new career or beginning of a new one. Uh, if you don't see yourself moving away from the job that you have currently, uh, to jump into something new, uh, maybe just kind of doing something on the side might help fulfill you a little bit more until you can transition entirely. I do feel like it's important not to stay in a career that you're not happy with or a job that you're not happy with because sometimes it's just a job and not really a career. Um, and I do think that it's really important. I think that's important for everybody, no matter, you know, who's watching the reading or what's going on. I think that's important as a message for all humans is we should be doing something that we really feel in tune with, not just whatever. But... I do feel like some of you all might not be quite ready to make a leap or you're a little nervous about making that leap or you're worried about it. Um, in which case, the best path for you is to maybe volunteer, uh, maybe uh, start taking some classes, maybe start uh, learning a new trade and, and go ahead and staying in, the, in your old one if that's what makes you comfortable for a little while. But I don't think staying there permanently is, is, is going to make you happy or be the right route. Um, but if that will work for a little while for you um, so that you feel more comfortable with the change or the gradualness of it, uh, you know, by all means, go ahead. But that's, that's just kind of the feeling I'm getting from some of you. I'm feeling this hesitancy uh, from a few of you guys that, you know, you really feel kind of like, oh, whoa. <laughs> 
really, I don't know about this, um, kind of thing. Uh, but I think some of you guys are excited by the prospect. I also get this excited feeling of, wow, yeah, let me go do something new and exciting and different. I'm, I'm going to be a lot happier with it. And yay. Um, I really get that feeling uh, from some of you guys too. So that's really exciting too. So I really, really hope that this advice or this kind of is kind of pointing you the right direction or at least you're kind of like that resonates with you really well and you understand where I'm coming from with this. I really do feel like you guys could be the top of your field. Um, with the King of Wands energy here, um, I just really felt like, um, you know, you guys could be very passionate about this and, and so good at what you do because you love it so much that you're going to become well known. You're going to be respected. People will come to you for advice. Um, you might even uh, come up with new ideas and new um, ways of, of dealing with people or new ways to do things um, in which people will respect. Um, the word Freud came to mind. Uh, I know he's not as respected now as he used to be, uh, for good reason. But uh, he, he did revolutionize a lot of the way we thought about uh, certain things in the psychological field. And he did come up with some really cool things that were helpful um, as well. And I kind of get that feeling from some of you guys that you actually might come up with some things that people will really respect and will really kind of revolutionize some stuff and really help things out. So, you know, if, if you guys have any way of all of moving towards a career like this, I really recommend that you do so because I think it would be great for you and for humanity both. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to our charms. Let's see what else um, we might say about your career here or if there's anything else. Sometimes it's interesting how we only had like one major message so far. Um, sometimes that happens. Other times we get lots of things come out. It just depends. Well, let's see if our charms are going to enlighten us anymore or say anything else that might help us out or put things in a different light maybe. Oops. Dropped a letter on the floor. Let's see if I can get to it. Yeah, I dropped a... Looks like I dropped a Y. All right. Let me see here. Oh, we have a five. That is the change number. So, like I was saying, I do think now might be the time for change. Uh, and that's just kind of showing it just even more... Uh, there so yeah definitely okay all right we have beautiful and protected uh so know that you're protected on this journey uh sometimes taking a new leap um and going a new way is really difficult for us and we feel kind of vulnerable and, and worry but know that you're protected through this that it is going to go ahead and you know you're going to be uh, protected. We do have the Four of Swords um, and we have the Nine of Swords again. That's interesting because we had that twice. Um, so once again, that psychological thing is really coming out uh, here a lot. We also had the Ace of uh, Pentacles again. So once again, a new start, new beginning. Um, but we also had a Four of Swords and the Fours to me are a little bit more of um, a restful time. They're the more... Um, Taking a break, the more of meditation, contemplation. Um, they're also more of a stable foundation uh, and that kind of thing. So maybe, um, you know, get yourself on a firm footing before you go ahead and, and make the change. But that that's uh, kind of where you're at right now. We do have uh, the Page of Hearts and the Queen of Diamonds. Those to me are just showing... Uh, that following a new passion, a new, uh, something, you know, that, that matters to you from the heart, something you care about from the heart, um, would be really good for you. And then the queen of pentacles, what's really great about her is she's a very ger generous, caring soul, which is awesome considering that's what I feel like you guys really are. Um, she's also, um, got a good head on her shoulders she's uh you know because she's with the pinnacles she 
uh, deals a lot with earthly matters, and so she's really good at uh, dealing with that. Also, the Pentacles does deal with the health profession as well in our health, and so um, to me, she's kind of an ultimate healer kind of energy, and so I kind of see that for you guys too. So that's just kind of the whole energy um, I'm getting here. The two letters we have are an H and a Y, and for some reason, as soon as I saw it, I thought happy. Um, the, the word happy came to me because of the beginning and the ending of the word. I don't know why that happens sometimes, but um, I just feel like, you know, this kind of change could make you guys very happy um, if you're not already doing, pursuing this. Um, we do have a couple of things here that um, do a little bit with, well, I'm trying to think of how I want to put it. We have the uh, kitty here. Um, we have several different uh, animals that kind of deal with um, change, difference, um, hanging on to things. Okay, we've got the bulldog, which is kind of the hanging on energy, uh, the uh, um, not letting go, being persistent, uh, go ahead and, you know, in, in doing that. We have the swan, which I see is, uh, I almost always think of the ugly duckling story and uh, turning into a beautiful swan, so kind of that transformational energy. I got a little something earlier about plastic surgery. Um, I know that doesn't go along with a lot of what I was saying earlier, but I got a little bit with plastic surgery, and so a couple of these uh, energies brought it back up for me, so I feel like I need to say it for some of you guys, uh, that maybe going into plastic surgery, which if you think about it, if you do plastic surgery for people, uh, some people think of it as a superficial kind of thing, but also if you look at it from the point of view of if you make people feel more beautiful, more happy about their appearance, or even plastic surgery for people that have disfigurements, uh, you know, are born with issues or have, you know, go through a fire or something else, uh, you could really psychologically be helping them by doing the physical body plastic surgery. So kind of the two go together. Uh, so maybe that's why, you know, I was compelled to say that. Um, and these charms kind of just brought that out for me just a little bit more. So um, that was kind of the energy I got there. Um, we do have the rainbow cloud in the Alice in Wonderland. Um, to me, I think of children a little bit when I think of that kind of stuff. Um, so maybe dealing with children might be something that's good for you guys. Um, dealing with, you know, counseling of children and, and other things like that. Uh, so that's a possibility as well. Also the bicycle kind of, you know, can, can kind of go along with that. Um, the tennis rackets. Hey guys, we had a video glitch and I'd already put away the charms before I realized there was a problem. I was almost done talking about them anyway. I was just talking about the tennis racket. So we're going to go ahead and just do our Oracle Spheres real quick, um, to finish off your guys' reading. Sorry about that. I hate that when that happens. All right. So we're going to do our Oracle Spheres. Basically what we do with these is you ask a yes or no type of question. Uh, something kind of narrow if you can, that's useful. The more narrow you make it, the easier it is to get an uh, answer. And then we have four different stands. We have blue, bronze, green, and silver. And you go ahead and pick which stand you'd like your answers to appear on, and then we'll get our answers. Other people have utilized these in other ways. So if you think of another way that you can utilize these that are useful to you, go ahead and go for it. I you know, encourage that as well. All right, so let's get our answers here. Number one, blue, is very likely. The number two, bronze, is maybe. Guess if it goes back in, it doesn't count. And the number three green is not likely. And the number four silver is a no. All right, so we have blue very likely, bronze maybe, green not likely, silver is a no. 
All right, so there's our Oracle Sphere answers for you guys for this week. I hope that you had some messages that came through for you guys and were very useful to you. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up, share the channel with your friends and family, leave us comments in the comments section, and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Do check out our other videos on the channel if you haven't already. We have lots of Timeless Tarot videos on lots of different topics that might be of use to you, so I would love for you to check those out as well. We do put out videos every week, so we look forward to seeing you again in future videos. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 2, and welcome to your reading. Uh, remember, this is Career Messages from Spirit, and we have our channeled automatic writing message here we're going to look at uh, for each one. Um, I was compelled to pick two career oracle cards, so we're going to see why that is here in a little bit. We'll look at our tarot cards. We will be looking at our charms, as well as our oracle spheres, so you can be thinking of your yes or no type of question that you'd like to get an answer to. Um, I did tear down the beach setup, but I wanted to keep part of it because it was just so sunny and cheery and all. I just wasn't quite ready to give it all up yet. So we kept part of the beach here uh, to kind of keep that cheerfulness going. All right, let's go ahead and look at our automatic writing message first. I did not rewrite it, so my handwriting is atrocious. Sorry about that. Now is the time for a career change. Okay, much shorter than pile ones. Um, was, but okay, it's pretty direct and to the point. Um, I think it's it's time for you to change your, your career or change what you're doing. So um, let's see what other information or what else we can get here that might be useful here. We have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> Once again, uh, it's the start of something new. All right. We have the Ten of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Eight of Cups. Wow, okay. We have the Seven of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Three of Wands. We have Music. Your connection to music is healing for yourself and others. All right. An infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life purpose. Wow. Okay. <laughs> the messages in this reading are really, really clear. Um, super amount of clear. Um, first of all, time for career change is definitely the case here. Not only did it come out directly in the writing, but the tarot cards are saying so as well. The Ten of Pentacles is the finishing, the ending, whatever, but it's also the ultimate abundance, uh, reaching a, a full abundance, full happiness, whatever type of card. The Ace of Cups, first of all, it's the Cups. So it's infinite abundance again, which is interesting how you keep getting infinite abundance here. But it's also the ace, which the aces are beginnings, they're new starts, they're, um, you know, time for a, a new beginning. And what's really great about that is it being the cups energy that deals with our emotions and our heart and what our intuition and our imagination and all of that can do. So it, it's really following your heart here, I think, is what we're kind of getting. Also, what we're getting here is the four of wands energy. Uh, which the fours to me are good stable energy. They're a good uh, foundational energy. So now's a really good time to build your foundation for your next career. Uh, but we also have the three of wands, which uh, threes are a very creative number. Uh, and the wands are very creative, uh, spiritual type of passionate energy. So I really feel like, especially with this music here, is you guys are a very creative type of, of group, okay? You guys are very, uh, can create a lot of things, and not just with music, although I, th I, I think music is very important. 
uh, for a lot of you guys. I think that's why it showed up. Uh, and, and maybe doing something in the music uh, industry would be very important, either creating music, teaching music, uh, producing music, uh, mixing music. Uh, you know, it could be anything like that that you're passionate about. It doesn't have to be like a performing artist necessarily, although if that is something that you're passionate about, you should do that. Um, but if it's playing an instrument, if it's writing music, if it's uh, producing music, if it's... Um, you know, going out and managing musical acts and careers, if it's working in the musical theater, uh, you know, there's so many infinite numbers of things that this could uh, be uh, for you guys, because I actually see a wide range. Uh, with you guys being so artistic, um, with the artistic stuff I'm seeing here in the cards, uh, it could manifest itself in many, many different ways. There are so many different careers that this could be for for for, for each of you. Uh, you know, your own unique way, basically, is the way I'm seeing this. This isn't so clear-cut of this way or that way or going to this. It's more of following your heart's passion and desires and what really sounds interesting to you and what really uh, pulls you in. Um, it's what you really want to do. Um, it's really interesting how you have the Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. Uh, to me, Sevens are very much of a... Uh, um, they're a spiritual number. Uh, they deal a lot with spiritual type of things. Also, the, uh, this Seven here of Cups is a manifestation card where you guys can manifest things you guys can create things you guys can uh kind of work on uh you almost have magical ability i guess is is the way i want to put this and it could be through music uh for sure um but it could be in other areas as well i do feel like for some of you guys this might be leaning a little bit more towards um spiritual energies um dealing with uh okay i think i'm kind of thinking of a mixture of the two remember how i was talking about with music it can be in lots of different fields and lots of different things not just performing music well i think creating maybe asmr videos uh might be uh i think that's the right right terminology um they're basically uh calming videos for certain people dealing with certain images and certain music and certain other things that are very calming uh, for people. I think for some of you guys, that might be the right path to go. Uh, I think, now this kind of came to me a little bit, and it kind of goes along with Pile 1 a little bit. So for if any of you guys were interested in Pile 1 as well and weren't sure which pile to pick, um, and, this, and if what I'm getting ready to say resonates with you, you should watch Pile 1 as well. Um, and what I'm thinking of is maybe for some of you guys, maybe using music as a healing technique, um, coming up with some uh, ways to use music to help heal people, especially of psychological trauma and so forth. If that sounds something that resonates with you at all or something that you're thinking about doing, you might want to watch Pile 1 as well um, and you'd understand why if you see it. But uh, but only but only if that resonates with you and only if that's something you're thinking of. Uh, this is interesting, too, how we have the Eight of Cups here because um, the Eight of Cups is very much that energy of completing a task and moving on to something new and something different. And since your reading is a very much about it's time for a career change, it's time to move on, it's time to... Uh, go on to the next thing. I find that very uh, interesting and intriguing uh, that that showed up there as well. Um, we also have the Knight of Swords. And to me, I always think of the Knights as the ones ready to go out and charge and fight and start new things and so forth. And what's interesting about the Swords Knights especially is they're very assertive, they're direct, they're ambitious. Um, and that's kind of the kind of energy you need to tap into right now. You need to tap into that ambition, that go-getter kind of attitude uh, to be able to go out and, and get what you want and do what you want because I really feel like now is the time uh, to utilize that. And if you are doing what your heart's desire leads you to do 
and what your life purpose is, uh, you will reap the rewards from that. You will get, uh, I know a lot of times, especially if it's a creative career, which uh, I really feel like you guys are drawn towards, especially if it's a creative career, a lot of times we shy away from that because we know that the way the universe is manifesting itself at the moment, the way we have chosen to create the universe, is that it does not let those things work out very well for a lot of us. It does not, um, it's a very difficult road, it, only certain people manage to make it work, it um, quite often has a lot of bumps and hardships and other things down the road and not very many people actually um, make it to that ultimate success or, or whatever. And so because of that, because of that energy, a lot of us shy away from going into careers like that and doing those types of things because we're more practical. We're like, well, I've got to pay the bills. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Um, my family's depending on me, so forth. And, and I understand that. I, I know that feeling. And I know uh, it's really hard to make that leap. Uh, and maybe I'm kind of going to give some of the same advice I might have given to a few people uh, in another reading, it, which is if you're not ready to make the total giant leap, if, if that's a little too much for you, uh, right now, then maybe just starting on that path, maybe taking some classes or, uh, signing up. It could be almost anything. It could be signing up to start doing the kinds of things that you want to do on the side. It could be, uh, you know, pretty much anything to kind of start leading you in this direction, kind of working you towards that way, uh, without you actually giving up your other job or anything yet. Um, I do think that it, you do need to give up the other job, uh, down the road and so forth. But if you're just not quite ready to make a total break and a total leap, at least start on this other path, at least start working towards this way, because it's going to start feeling really good for you. And, if you start putting more time and energy into it and really start working on that passion, um, I think it'll be easier for you to leave the other uh, job and career and you'll go, yep, this is the way I got to go. This is what's for me. Um, and that leap will be easier. And the universe will support you in this. The universe is going to help you out in this. And as a matter of fact, you're probably going to be uh, much more financially well off than you were with anything you're doing now. And, uh, you're definitely going to be a lot more emotionally happy, um, you know, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups and everything else, uh, showing up here, you know, it's just overflowing with abundance and happiness here. So that's the energy, uh, I really want you guys to tap into. I really think it's, you know, the, the universe is like, you know, do this. This is where you need to go. You need to work on what you, uh, believe in and what your, your purpose is. I think for a good majority of you, it will be music related in some way, shape, form. Uh, but there are a few of you that music might not play a big part of it, but something creative will. Okay. Um, and you guys will know which one of you that fits into, but I think for a good portion of you guys, the music is a big thing, um, in it in some way, shape or form. Uh, and there's lots of different ways you can utilize music. It's not just going out there and being a singer or joining a band or something like that. Uh, and so I want you guys to kind of think about that. Uh, there are these things that guidance counselors do uh, in high school for a lot of students where they'll go through and they'll have them a answer these questions. It's like an aptitude type of test of like what careers you'd be best suited for based on things that you like and dislike and good at and that kind of thing. Um, and then it gives you like a group of careers and it'll list them and they're kind of in this grouping of uh, like, for, like for instance it'd say music but it would list like a hundred different musical type of careers or it would list a whole bunch of different types of things that you can do that's music related. And that's kind of what I recommend for you guys to do is maybe go out there and find a list of these type, types of things that are music related and go out and see what uh, that might be for you guys uh, because I really don't think it's just performing for a lot of you. I think there might be other musical interests that will strike your fancy that you will enjoy doing and it can be quite uh, satisfying and lucrative for you. So I want you to kind of go out and maybe do that. 
Um, I bet you are things I'm, I can't even think of because I haven't really looked into a lot of different musical careers. So I don't know a lot of them that are out there, uh, but I bet you there are a lot of different ones. And some of them are probably pretty cool and pretty interesting. So uh, I recommend you guys do that if you don't automatically know what in music you would like to do. Okay. Also, maybe think of some of your own creative things that you might do in music. Like I was saying, maybe using music to you know heal people or or coming out with specific uh, calming, you know, music videos and things like that. Uh, those are kind of new and innovative and, and different things as well. So that's something for you guys to think about. Let's go ahead and go on to our charms. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and look at our charms to see if there's any other career advice or messages the universe would like us to know about our careers or anything else. So let's see what else we got going here. All right. Well, we have a two. Um, twos can often denote partnerships or um, they're a good stable number. I really like two from that point of view, but they're also a decision to make as well. So you kind of have a couple of different paths here. Maybe you can go on and you have to make a decision between the two. Okay. Uh, I like the world here. That means the world at your fingertips. Um, you might get to be known worldwide. Oh, look at this. The music. <laughs> We got the musical um, uh, symbol here, uh, which is great because once again, music I think plays an important part. And actually, uh, this hasn't shown up in a reading in a very long time, so that's kind of interesting. Um, okay, we do have a couple of other things here. Um, we have the hacksaw and we have the ruler, which you could think of as being building tools or or things. But also, hacksaw to me means cutting off the old, uh, the dead, getting rid of. Uh, the things you don't need, pruning things back. Uh, measurements here to the ruler, I think of measuring things out, uh, being measured and careful in your decisions and uh, so forth. So uh, that's kind of the messages I'm getting from that. Uh, we have several hearts here, uh, which I see as, as following your heart's desire, your path, um, what you feel like. Um, in your heart, I kind of see that here. Also with the mermaid fins, I see that as well. Um, but we have different hearts. We have the friends forever. Uh, we have the moon heart. And then we have uh, kind of the angel heart here. So um, once again, following your heart, following your heart's desire, following your passions, following what matters to you um, is really, really, really important uh, because... I always would want to give that advice to anybody anyway, regardless of whatever else is in a reading. You know, that would be an advice I would be more than willing to give to anybody. Uh, but if we don't follow our hearts, usually we're very unhappy. Um, and there's just really no point in going through life like that. And, there, and, and, and there's no reason to. Uh, if we follow our hearts, the universe will help us along and it will get us by. We don't have to be stuck in things that are not following our heart's desires. We don't have to be stuck there. Um, I know a lot of times we think we have to be, um, but we truly do not. Okay, so um, just to kind of let you guys know that. We do have a couple of initials here. We have a WI, I think of win or winner um, when I think of that, but IW can mean something specifically to you guys or, uh, you know, or I will or whatever, but the I is really big and bold here. So I really feel like following your own heart, your own desires, what you need and what you want is really important here for that. We also have the dragon, which is great. Um, I see that as that fiery, passionate energy, the wands energy that we were talking about earlier, following your heart's desires, following your passions, your spirit, your creativity, uh, the things that you really care about, uh, that some people might find impulsive, this or whatever. I think that that's kind of uh, an important message right now. It's an important thing for you guys to be doing. Okay. Uh, so that's kind of the messages we got from the charms this time. There wasn't a lot of them that came through, but uh, that just kind of goes along with what the rest of the reading was about too. Following your heart's desires, passions, uh, you know, having the world at your fingertips, making a decision, you know, doing those kinds of things. So uh, hopefully those things are very useful to you and you can do something with those. Let's go ahead and go out to do our Oracle Spheres. Uh, the way these work, if you've not seen them before, is basically you ask a yes or no type of question. 
you get answers like yes, no, maybe, not now, very likely, stuff like that, okay? Um, it's a good idea to narrow your question down to kind of a limited scope or a limited time frame or something kind of a little bit more narrow. It's a lot easier to answer if it's not too wide open and too big. Uh, so kind of let it go. It can be on your career if you wish, uh, since this is a career reading or it can be on something else that's been on your mind. Um, whatever you'd like to get an answer to. Um, we have four different stands. We have green, silver, bronze, and blue. And I'd like for you to pick a stand to have your answer appear on, and then we'll get our answers. Other people have decided to use these in other ways that are useful to them, and if you can think of a way to do that, I encourage that as well, because this is an interactive part of the reading, and it is good for you to do that. All right, so we have the green is a maybe. The silver is also a maybe. That's <laughs> interesting. The bronze is a not now. And the blue is a yes. All right, so the green is maybe. The silver is maybe. The bronze is not now. And the blue is a yes. So there's our Oracle Sphere answers for the week. All right, guys, I hope you had some messages here that are helpful to you and that um, help you decide where, where to go next and what to do. Uh, please remember to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Share our channel with your friends and family. If you could put a link to our channel on your social media accounts, it's very useful to us. Um, gives other people a chance to check us out. We do have lots of timeless tarot readings on the channel that might be of interest to different people. Uh, you might check out some of the other videos if you haven't already done so. We do put out videos every single week, so we look forward to seeing you again in future videos. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading. Remember, these are messages, uh, career messages from Spirit. We have our automatic writing that we did, uh, which we'll look at here in a moment. I did feel compelled to pull two of the career oracle cards, so we'll see what's going on with that here in a little bit. We are going to be looking at our charms and our oracle spheres, so you can be thinking of a yes or no type of question that you can get an answer to. So uh, let's just go on and see what Spirit has to say about your career. I did not rewrite this, so my handwriting's awful, so just let me go here. You need to be someplace warm and sunny for your career to be fulfilling. <laughs> That's an intriguing message. Um, I'm hoping that resonates with you guys a lot. Um, that's very specific, uh, that you need to be someplace warm and sunny uh, to like your career. It's not about your career specifically, necessarily, although maybe. Um, it just says where, where you're practicing your career is important, so that was interesting. All right, we have the Two of Wands. We have the Knave of Cups. We have the Chariot. We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Hanged Man. Wow. Okay. We have the Five of Cups. Intriguing. We have the Ten of Cups. The Four of Wands. The Nine of Swords. Then we have Environmentalist. You're an Earth Angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. Well, that's really intriguing with what the automatic writing said. Wow. I love how that happens, how things just kind of come together like that. That is so cool. Crystals. Your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel for healing energy. Well, that's interesting, too, because that goes along with environmentalists really well. I was really intrigued that I was um, compelled to pick two different uh, career oracle cards because normally I just do one. And on all of the readings, they seem to go well together. So that was really interesting to me. When I did the automatic writing, I was like, wow, that's an interesting one. I, I found that one a little different, and I was surprised by it. But now it makes perfect sense uh, with these. Um, I pick out the cards at random. I don't ever look at them first. Uh, I don't do them on camera because they take a really long time. Uh, and so I had no clue what this reading was about. But I'm, I'm telling you right now, I think working with nature uh, and something with nature would be very 
fulfilling career for you. So if you're not already involved with something like that, I really feel like that's something that you would be good at doing. I also feel like for a good portion of you guys, you guys are going, you're going to be very soon or are being offered an opportunity for your career. Uh, somebody's either offering you a, a job change or um, somehow or another, I think there's a decision to be made about your career coming up. I feel like uh, either you have opportunities open to you and you're not seeing them or people are offering them to you and you're trying to decide which way to go or what to go with it. I kind of felt like that with the two of wands. Also, the hanged man is kind of leading me to that as well. Uh, with the five of cups over here, I do feel like you guys might not be seeing what the universe is offering either. Um, so that's kind of the feeling I'm getting here a little bit. Uh, psychologically, I think you guys are afraid of change. I think you're afraid of moving. Um, and since it said you need to be someplace sunny and warm, if you guys don't already live in a place like that, this could be a huge step. Actually moving could be very difficult. Um, and something that, uh, would be kind of scary. Uh, a lot of times people don't like to move from where they're at. They're comfortable with what they're doing, where they're, where they're living, what's going on and going to someplace new and different is kind of scary. Um, this card kind of even brings that out for me. Uh, the knave of cups here a little bit, you notice how she seems kind of scared and like she has to kind of huddle up against her wolf here. Like she feels like she needs protection. That's kind of the feeling I'm getting from you guys a little bit is that you're really scared of the outside world and change and what might happen. And I also kind of got that from the nine of wands card here as well. That you feel like you need to protect yourself or that you need protection. So I do think that that's kind of an energy that you guys have flowing a little bit or something that a uh, thought of a move would, would cause you guys to think this way. Um, and, and you guys might have been offered um, a job that would require you to move or you will be offered one soon maybe. Or maybe you've been thinking about changing careers and not sure what to do. And you've been a little worried or a, a little bit um, afraid of what the move might entail. We do have the chariot here, and the chariot does involve movement. It does involve uh, moving forward, moving on, going forward. And you notice how this particular chariot is so different from most chariot cards. Uh, she is going through with the guiding light, almost like the hermit has. And so it's almost like she's able to light the way um, and light her way on her journey as she's going. And she also has the wise owl here, so um, it's almost like she has the knowledge that it will take to be able to safely navigate her journey and, and navigate her road along the way and go go there. So it's really interesting that you guys got that particular chariot card for this reading. So I really want you guys to think about that. If you are thinking about a move, if you are thinking about uh, going someplace different to go with what you care about and what matters to you, uh, Know that you have spirit guiding you and helping you along the way and that you have the wisdom it takes to get through and the protection that you might need as well. Um, the Ten of Cups showing up here is really great because it's almost the ultimate happiness card in a lot of ways. It means uh, you, you have at your disposal the choice that will make you very, very, very happy. Okay. Um, and that's kind of what I'm, I'm getting from that energy going on there. Also, the Four of Wands is a nice um, preparatory energy. Fours are also a stable energy. They're a good foundational energy. Um, it was interesting how they showed up in all of the readings the Fours did. Um, that, you know, building up that foundation is important for all of you guys, I guess. Now, one of the things I wanted to say about the environmentalist thing again, because we didn't touch on it as much as I would like, is I do think with working with the earth in some way, shape, or form, working in a zoo, um, working as an environmental protectionist, um, working, um, oh my gosh, there are so many things you can do for the environment and working out in nature. You could be a park ranger, you could uh, work with marine animals, you can... Um, Wow, I, I can't even think of all the different things that you guys could do. 
Um, there's lots of different careers out there that I think you guys would feel very happy. I'm even with the, even with the crystals showing up here, I thought of caving. I thought of working with caves, working with some of the, uh, national parks or other things here in America we have. And I think maybe in other parts of the world, they might also have parks that are, um, natural caves or other things. And so protecting, uh, those and dealing with those, or even dealing with the wildlife. We had a problem here in America with, um, a lot of our bats were getting ill, um, and they thought it might have had something to do with certain visitors coming to certain caves and they even cut off or lowered a lot of the visitation in some of our caves for that for a while. Um, so maybe working with something like that might be of interest to you. Uh, so all of that kind of stuff, there are so many different things. Like I said, I can't even think of all of them. I, you know, there are so many, um, a bunch of them I probably never even heard of. Um, but I think working towards that type of career and 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 a lot of those would take moving to a more sunny type of area so i find that very intriguing that that's what came up with the automatic writing um because you know you might need to be able to be out into nature it might be easier to do in a more sunny environment now you could work with polar bears or other things like that but i'm not getting that with you guys for this particular reading um there might be some of people out there that that would be their calling but I'm not getting that with you guys I'm getting with the more of uh you know sunny being out in the sun being out in nature a lot dealing with um uh that kind of thing uh dealing with things that you know where it's not really snowy and not real cold and not uh restrictive in how long you can be outdoors and things like that. I, I find you guys need to be more free. You guys are more of a free spirit. You're more of a, um, you know, get out there and experience nature kind of thing. I even feel like for some of you guys, I even get the idea of just moving to a place out in the woods somewhere and kind of being on your own and not dealing with anybody. Um, you know, and, and just kind of living off the land and doing that kind of thing. So I kind of feel like that for some of you guys, that that would be uh, the route to go here. So that's kind of interesting, uh, you know, not even necessarily a career choice. It's just a life choice um, doing that. I also find uh, the interest here that you guys have with crystals. Once again, this is an earthly thing. This is dealing with the earthly, uh, you know, stones and things, and gemstones and other things. And so... Uh, maybe doing some type of work with crystal healing or um, teaching people about the energies of the different stones and crystals and other things might be um, an interesting path for you guys or something that you guys would like to do. So maybe working a little bit more in the occult environment, uh, like at a, you know, even if you needed to be indoors, maybe working at like, um, you know, uh, going to like, uh, what do you call them, fairs and things like that. Um, uh, psychic fairs, I guess they're called, or, or other things where, uh, you know, people are out there dealing with nature or doing other stuff. That might be something important or something you guys would like doing. Um, you know, and you could travel around everywhere. I, I'm kind of seeing like the American Southwest type of environment for some of you guys. Um, like, you know, maybe going to, um, Native American reservations or, uh, going on a circuit, you know, tour around, you know, some of that kind of stuff as well. Um, I've seen that for a few of you guys as, uh, as well. And then the, uh, some of you guys, like I said, more foresty type of environments or more beach uh, you know, sun and beach and that kind of thing, but working with the environment in some way, especially if it helps protect the environment or helps renew it or helps, uh, people learn about it or, uh, just being out in nature with whatever job that you're doing, I think would be important as well. But if you can protect it along with it, I think that that's an even more fulfilling or even bigger step. But just being out in the environment while you're working, I think, would be important as well. Uh, even if it just means being a groundskeeper somewhere. Um, you know, that's kind of an important thing. You know, keeping, you know, working on, uh, you know, keeping nature up in a certain specific area or, or for, you know, I'm thinking things like golf courses or certain estates or uh, like I get, I get the idea of museums a lot too, museums and zoos and things like that as well. Um, and working with the environment and things that way could be very fulfilling and important for you guys. So 
like I said, there are so many different careers here. I can't even remotely think of them all. But if something comes to your mind or if you think of something, uh, you know, pursue it, definitely. Uh, I do feel like the universe is going to be offering you something soon that might come along uh, with this. So um, it is interesting that this particular hanged man, too, uh, you know, a lot of times he is kind of out in nature and in a tree or whatnot. But it's interesting how this specific one um, puts him a little bit more, uh, it, it's not like just in the snow or just out in the middle of nowhere. Um, you know, you, you get the idea of, um, you know, we've got the sun shining here, but we've also got plants growing we've got the river and creek growing. So it's just very much an earthly thing throughout your whole reading here. I, I just find that so intriguing, all the different symbolisms going on here, uh, with you guys. So I definitely think working outside, especially in a warmer environment or warmer climate uh, and or working with crystals, um, especially if you can be outdoors with it a lot. I really feel like, you know, maybe going and picking up gemstones or finding gemstones or, or uh, creating jewelry from the gemstones. But the ones you go out and pick yourself, though, the ones you go out and find yourself, um, you know, if you find different stones and you polish them down and create jewelry out of them and things like that, but actually getting out in nature and doing it yourself is what's important, not just going and buying them and, and creating it. Um, I don't see that for you guys as much as actually being out in the environment. I think that that's really important for you guys. I think if you guys get the sun on you, you need to feel the sun's rays. You need to feel the earth under your feet. You need to, uh, you know, feel, you know, hear the birds around you, feel the wind blow on you, all of that kind of stuff. All of that's very important for you guys. You need to feel all of that. Okay, for you to feel fulfilled. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our charms and see what else we might get here or something, if there's anything else that might tell us some stuff here. Okay, let's see here. Well, we have the white rabbit, which... I usually see as going down a rabbit hole or going someplace different or unexpected or um, something along like that. Uh, this is interesting too. Um, how we have, um, I was thinking about some of you guys with marine life um, and dealing with some of that. And I do think that, that for a few of you guys that might be the case. But it's interesting here how we have butterflies. Butterflies uh, represent transformation and change, but they also represent, um, you know, being out amongst flowers and natures and things like that. So I find that intriguing that that showed up, you know, a couple of them showed up in your reading um, because that, you know, believes that. We also have hope and a miracle, um, which is interesting. So I feel like maybe some of you guys, um, I do think you are worried about this um I think you're worried about your career or where you should go next or what you should do and, and what's going to go on. Um, because I did see that with the Nine of Swords a little bit earlier. We kind of barely touched on it, but we did a little bit. And so I do feel like you guys are a little concerned about that. And so I think by the hope and the miracle showing up, it shows that if you believe that the universe is going to help you along with this, if you believe... Um, and have hope and, and, and all of that and believe in the universe that they will help lead you in the right direction, that the right opportunity will come your way, that you won't need to worry about it, you won't need the protection and the other things that we talked about earlier. We do have the five of wands here, which does show change, um, you know, because the fives are change energy. Um, also, the wands energy is a very much... Um, a learning a new skill, uh, learning to go a new route, learning to be able to protect yourself and so forth. Because I do feel like uh, protection is something that goes along in your guys' head quite a bit here. We do have the two of hearts. So maybe you're worried about a loved one or a partner or something else and how this might affect them. We did have the two of wands. Also the twos, once again, denote uh, kind of a thought or a change or um, uh, deciding between a pathway. Um, so that might be something that you guys are thinking about and, and you're worried about, or like I said, you might be worried about your partner here. Uh, do talk it over with them. If you have a partner, they're going to help you out. They're going to, uh, tell you where you need to go. We do have two Kings here, 
We have the King of Clubs and the King of Spades. And what I really like about those is being the kings, they're full of leadership, vision, bold, daring decisions, um, being practical and down to earth um, in a lot of ways. And so I really feel like um, that's kind of the energy you guys need to draw on here and, and build on and work with. Um, I do love this uh, birthday cake with the heart on top because to me that just kind of shows that you can have your heart's desire. You can have your cake and eat it too. We do have a key here. Um, I love it when the keys show up because they, you know, show you have the key to uh, whatever you need. Uh, we do have the cross in this one. So I see spirit as being the key here um, as, you know, tapping into spirit to help you along, help guide you, help you make your decisions. I think is very important here for you guys. So I just kind of wanted to let you know that. We do have the circle love in the heart. So I do think uh, loved ones or what you care about um, is kind of an important thing here for you guys. Also, I'm thinking of harmony uh, with this particular musical uh, symbol. So I do think that you do want harmony. You do want to feel that harmony in your life. And maybe you're worried that this will disrupt it. Or that you won't feel it or it, the disruption will be just too much for you or whatever. I do feel like that might be something some of you guys are thinking of or worried about. Um, so once again, tap into spirit. Let spirit give you that hope and that miracle and guide you and help lead you where you need to go. Okay, spirit's not going to steer you wrong here. They're going to help you. Um, you just got to be willing to listen and you got to be willing uh, to uh, be guided by spirit and let guy and let spirit help guide you. Okay. Um, be willing to, to let that happen. Um, and then they'll help you along. Um, uh, they'll, they'll help you where you need to go. Okay. You do have an F and R and a J. Um, those could be initials. Those could be beginnings of certain words. I think of future when I saw the F and the R, um, they might be, you know, they could be pretty, pretty much anything to you guys. I'll let you guys kind of figure that out for yourselves based on what you think of when you see them. So we're just going to go ahead and let that go for you guys. All right, let's go on to our Oracle spheres here. And basically how this works is you think of a yes or no type of question, one that requires a yes or no type of answer. Um, it's best to limit it down, narrow it down as much as you can, because the more wide open it is, the harder it is to get an answer. It can be about your career. It can be about a decision. It can be about something you've been thinking about. It's whatever uh, you feel compelled to ask. But we have four different stands here that you can pick to put your answers on. We have blue, bronze, gray, and green. And you can go through and pick whichever stand you'd like your answer to appear on and we'll get our answers. Other people have found other useful ways to utilize these. So if you've thought of a good way to use, utilize them or to go with it, you know, do so. I encourage that as well. All right, so let's get our answers. Number one, blue is no. Number two, bronze is not sure. Number three, gray is maybe. And number four, green, is no. So we have blue, no, bronze, not sure, gray, maybe, and green is a no. So there's our Oracle Sphere answers for this week. Guys, I hope you had some messages that were useful to you and that you uh, help you guide you along your path and help you figure out where to go next and what to do. Uh, I would love for you guys to leave me comments in the comments section. If you could leave the video a thumbs up. Share the channel with your friends and family. If you could put a link on your social media accounts and let them check out the channel. I greatly appreciate all of that as well. If you could subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, that's awesome too. We do put out videos every single week. We have lots of Timeless Tarot videos out there on the channel that you can check out if you haven't already done so. And we do look forward to seeing you in future videos. And may the stars guide your path. Bye-bye.